We all know pretty well that every new Android smartphone this year is going to have a notch and a vertical dual camera bump on the back. And while you're still learning to love that design language, let's take a look at our very first notch phone candidate in our labs, the Vivo V9, the latest selfie smartphone that succeeds the old V7 with a decent amount of upgrades. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV, and this is my review of the Vivo V9. A lot of things has changed on Vivo's latest selfie smartphone, and it is no longer an underwhelming device like the V7. For instance, the display is now an impressive 6.3-inch IPS panel with a 2280 by 1080 resolution. Color reproduction is great with good viewing angles. Despite of its huge display size, the 19 by 9 aspect ratio gives it an extremely dense screen to body ratio, hence making it as compact as a standard 5.5-inch device. One-handed operation is possible, and the phone doesn't weigh you down all thanks to a high-quality polycarbonate back case that feels like metal. While it's fortunate that Vivo didn't go with the trend of removing the headphone jack, the V9 still uses a micro-USB port for charging and syncing, which really shouldn't happen on a modern mid-range smartphone. Other than that, the Vivo V9 is a decent-spec mid-range device. The Snapdragon 626 is still a very capable processor despite being last year's go-to mid-range chip. It is supported by 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, which the latter can be expanded without compromising the second SIM slot. Though it's great to know that Vivo's Funtouch OS skin now runs atop Android 8.1 on the V9 with the latest security patch, usability remains very much unchanged and feels more like iOS than ever. The only difference that you will notice is better system performance and a couple of minor UI tweaks. Face Unlock is still present as an alternative to the reliable rear fingerprint scanner. It gets the job done in good lighting, but falls short when you're in a cinema hall. If you hate pressing on the soft navigation keys, you can change them into gestures like you do on the iPhone X. And oh, about that notch, you'll be glad to know that no apps will reach that two corners. Even when playing games, it isn't visible as well. Overall, the Vivo V9 software experience is pretty reliable and I find no serious lag when using memory-intensive apps such as Facebook. The phone will also handle most games well with playable frame rates, though unfortunately in games like PUBG Online, the phone's GPU isn't able to support the highest graphics setting. The main selling point of the Vivo V9 is really about its front-facing camera, which takes 24-megapixel selfies that impresses the average user when it comes to extremely clear details. For some faces, the face beauty feature tends to overdo in smoothening your face with a fairer skin tone, but I have to admit that this is definitely a much improved selfie camera from the Vivo V7. It is also able to take wider and clearer group photos, and if you intend to buy this phone for vlogging purposes, the front camera is able to take 4K videos, though I would recommend to pair it with a gimbal like the DJI Osmo Mobile. Another great thing about the camera software is the inclusion of AR stickers, which Vivo has partnered with Camera App P2 to offer a variety of animated stickers. The answer to Apple's Animoji, called Funmoji, will be available in a future software update. As for the dual camera system on the back, the secondary 5 megapixel camera assists the main 16 megapixel camera in measuring depth information. The background blur measurement is pretty accurate and it also allows post processing in the gallery. If you are not onto that kind of feature, the camera is an excellent mid-range shooter that takes photos with accurate white balance and detail. In terms of battery life, the Vivo V9 is extremely power efficient despite only having a 3260mAh battery. I was able to get through the next day on a single charge most of the time with the usual stuffs, such as texting, an hour of streaming on Netflix, and doing several social media updates in the day. Unfortunately, the phone is going to take a while to charge as it doesn't come with Quick Charge 3.0. The Vivo V9 launches with a price of 1399 ringgit, which is 100 ringgit cheaper than the V7 last year. This is a very affordable mid-range smartphone for what it is capable of, especially if you love taking selfies and want a phone that comes with great battery life. The phone's performance would also be sufficient if you are not doing heavy gaming and it also comes with the most recent version of Android Oreo which some higher-end smartphones are still not able to offer at this point of time. What are your thoughts about the Vivo V9? Let me know in the comments down below if you think this phone is worth buying and make sure you share this video if you like what you saw. 
Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to us for more tech videos like this every week and I will see you in the very next video.